So we are the transporters, and why did so why do we enter the Wungari Day competition? We entered the Wungari Day competition to encourage greener travel in our school and wider community. We primarily focus on cycling to work in school. We promote our idea through the local council, local businesses and our school community to create awareness about the environmental and health benefits of cycling to work in school. We encourage local businesses to make their employees aware of the Bike to Work scheme and set about investigating why more of our students do not cycle to school. So far we have been on a very exciting journey to improve the cycling numbers in our school. We are looking forward to the rollout of our template to improve the use of bikes across the schools of inner city Dublin and to have a voice at the next area committee meeting in City Hall. For gathering information, we've done a survey asking students, how do you get to school? How much do you know about climate change? Why are you a bike going at and why you don't cycle to school? On, rep on seeing the results, we realised that 71% of students were in the vicinity to walk to school. The shocking result that really stood out for us though was that two thirds of students actually have a bike in their house, but only 8% of students cycle to school. Students confirmed that if they had better facilities in the school, like safer stuff and a cover that will stop the bikes from getting rust and corroded, that they actually would cycle to school. So that became our focus for our one good idea. We create aware awareness leaflets for local businesses to provide statistics on the benefit of cycling for the environment and detailing how their workers could apply for the bike to work scheme. Local businesses on Smithfield Square displayed our posters that contain the QR code linked to our school website and this showed a form of support and awareness. We also received massive support from our local councillor Gary Gannon who visited our school multiple times and helped us further our plan. On the 22nd of February we held a fundraising and awareness day to work towards improving our bike shed facilities. Our non-uniform day had a twist where people that cycled to school would not have to pay the two euro fee. We noticed a 32% increase in the number of students using the bike on the day of the event. Our results showed that over 60% of our students participated in our bike to school event. This together with local businesses, local community and local council means that we reached over 2,200 people. We reached the school community through our event the local businesses through leaflets and information about Bike to Work scheme. Our website was linked to our Q QR code to advertise our event and whoever scanned it with their phone was brought to the website. And last, the local council was a tremendous help. They set up a meeting and helped us improve on our project. Our first so survey results showed that over two thirds of our students are bike owners. Oh, they also showed that only 8% of these students actually cycle to school. After our awareness event and fundraiser, our students completed a follow-up survey that proved our idea was a success. Almost 50% of our students in our school have confirmed they will cycle to school if our facilities were improved. Our project is only really beginning. We have been asked to draw up a template of our event and strategy to encourage more students to cycle to school. This, the council and have used, are going to use this template to share potentially rolling out across schools of Dublin City. This means that a potential reach of our project is set to increase beyond their numbers that we imagined, tens of thousands. We recently were invited, invited Dublin City councillors to our school to discuss this project going forward. As, we, we, as a result, we have been asked to present our idea at the next area committee meeting that has been held in Dublin City Hall on the 12th of June. We, we now know that the opportunity to expand our idea beyond any of our expectations as attendees will include the eight Dublin constituencies members, representatives from the National Transport Authority and other government officials. The transporters are well and truly in motion. We'll see you soon. And again, you have two minutes of questions and stand into the mic if you want to go down, sir. Two minutes start now. Well done, lads. That was excellent, and excellent for going first in the senior section. Um, I'm disappointed you didn't give a song. I thought we had a boy band coming on. I thought you were going to sing for us, no? no anyway, uh, big serious. Um, I, the, the, the area meeting is on the 12th of June. Um, I presume you're on holidays then. Um, yeah. Who's after pulling the short straw to actually go and talk at the meeting? And how did that come about? How are you going to address the meeting? Uh, we're going to address um, the local council, the eight local councils in Dublin. We're going to do the National Transport Authority as well, and we are, I think there was a couple of government officials going to be there as well. Right, that's fantastic. Like, that's a big thing to be able to address a meeting like that. Are you nervous about it? Uh, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> 
And the second question I want to ask is, um, improving the facilities in the school, what would the, what, so that people would cycle to school, how do you uh, propose to go about that? Um, well, people de uh, definitely said they would cycle to school if the facilities were there and the funding that we actually need for the, for the bike shed like, is a lot of money and we only raised about 200 euro out of fee that we done, or this national bike day that we done. Um, so we only get about 200 euro, so that meeting we're hoping will give us the funds that we need to go on and get a better bike shed. Right, and and in. Yeah, and you sound passionate about the whole thing now, and I know you're moving on into fifth year next year. Are you, do you intend continuing on with the project next year? Yeah, definitely. To do this, right. Okay, well done, lads. Yeah, thank you. Michael, I thought they were going to dance because they were taking a rest through that <laughs> um, um, flash mob. But anyway, we didn't, we didn't get either, but that's all right. Um, I actually really like your slogans, and you didn't make much, um, particularly the two, you know, where you're kind of focusing on the kind of biking and cutting fossil fuels. How did you use those in your campaign in the school, or, or did you? We did. We had posters planned, uh, put up on the walls all around the school, coming down the stairs on front of the wall, so they'd be noticeable, quite large size. We're just going around to different classes, presenting to them, making them feel enthusiastic and passionate about it, because it is our school after all, and we do want them to have an input into it. Very good. And was there any particular year like that kind of reacted better in terms of getting on their bikes? Were well, the... all of us are transitioners, so it was easier for us to reach out to our classmates because we see them like all day, every day. So yeah. And like as a class, like the whole class had an input onto the project. And, so. But just one final one then, in terms of getting into other classes, like did you manage to get into the... Yeah, well, the, doing surveys and the stuff. Guys, the guys that are more that are older than you and younger than you. It's always the juniors. The juniors are way more enthusiastic yeah. because you, like, the juniors knew people from different areas. The seniors are more local. So you'd have the juniors come around from different areas and they'd want to cycle, but they couldn't because of the bad facilities. Oh, interesting. So we're just trying to improve that right now. Okay, thank you nice. very much. Thanks very much, guys.